All new tonight, Governor Josh Green says he's giving the green light to the multi-billion dollar redevelopment of Aloha Stadium and a surrounding entertainment district. As our Daryl Huff reports, the decision reverses Governor Ige's effort to simplify the plan, but there are still fears the public-private partnership could get out of control. Plans for the developer partnerships were thrown into limbo several months ago when Governor Ige declared there was plenty of money to build a stadium without the partnership. Governor Green clearly feels just the opposite. Well, it's always been my approach to bring in the private sector. We don't get anything if we don't begin. We don't get the downstream revenues from retail. We don't get the taxes. We just get nothing. We don't even get use of the land. For years, the redevelopment vision for the roughly 90-acre Halava site has been to have private developers help finance and build a stadium in return for the right to develop entertainment, retail, and housing around it. Green has embraced that, hoping it will bring quick returns. I also want new jobs for people, and I also want this to be a venue where people want to travel to internationally. Before Governor Ige stopped the process, the state had already chosen three competing development teams. Our shortlisted respondents are going to have the opportunity now to go ahead and look at the requirements and put their best proposals together. Green met with the stadium authority and key cabinet members yesterday. I'm buying us 18 months bringing it forward. That's really why I brought people together yesterday. He says he told them he wanted as much affordable housing as possible. Plans now anticipate about 4,000 units, mostly priced for working families. That's where we partner with the developers and see how much closer we can get to a bigger number. Among those with doubts about the ambitious plan are Lieutenant Governor Sylvia Luke and House Speaker Scott Psyche, who said, I don't want the stadium to turn into another rail project with cost overruns paid by taxpayers. There is no guarantee the cost of the stadium will be fixed and limited. Also unclear is the cost of water and sewer infrastructure. There's a lot of people nervous about this. They see it like almost like this could be another rail project. Well, I'm a new kind of governor. We've had some successes. I do work with the private folks pretty well. Green hopes the 25,000 seat stadium could open in 2027. For the University of Hawaii, the sooner this stadium can be replaced, the better, because without a world-class stadium, it's tougher to recruit top athletes. Reporting from Aloha Stadium, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.